Forbes India presents Top 30 Talent Leaders of 2023, powered by Indeed. My name is Sijik Kurva. I'm Associate Director Talent Acquisition at EY. Uh, beyond work, I'm also passionate about disability inclusion and also lead DEI recruiting for EY India. Talent acquisition uh, necessarily didn't really, uh, was a choice that I took up. It happened by chance. Uh, but it is something that uh, I have cherished every single day of my work experience. And if you give an option to me right now, I'll, I'll any day choose it. Like I mentioned, talent acquisition happened to be and, and then wasn't an intentional uh, search. But uh, I'm glad that my talent leaders back then gave me that opportunity to kind of, you know, prove myself. Uh, I started my career in offshore recruiting. Uh, I was focusing on North America and I was recruiting for some of the largest consulting, pharma, telecom and banking clients back then. Um, I moved into India recruiting in 2007. And since then, I have worked in different capacities, you know, focusing on technology recruiting until 2015. In 2015, I moved to EY um, with a singular focus. I wanted to diversify my experience. Um, started work uh, managing Bombay assurance and tax for EY back then. Uh, you know, build my credibility, network with the talent leaders, business leaders over the year, and um, and moved different positions uh, in last you know seven years with the firm. Uh, I presently lead three businesses for EY, which is assurance, strategy, and transactions, and forensics. Uh, I'm also campus leader for EY India. But that being said, uh, like I mentioned, uh, DEI is my passion. And I also lead DEI recruiting for India. We've done a lot of initiatives around uh, women recruiting and uh, for persons with disability. While there is a bearish sentiment in the market on employment at this stage, but I strongly believe that there is still going to be a big amount of focus on hiring and retaining good talent. Uh, that being said, I think the major focus for most of the employment is going to be work flexibility and employee well-being. I think the organizations that are able to kind of do these few things uh, will also be able to retain talent. On the hiring front, if I have to answer, I think most recruiters are good in finding talent, but the issue is not finding talent today. The issue is that how do you kind of continue to engage with talent in a meaningful way where you're able to kind of also get the candidate on board and just not make an offer. Uh, that being said, I think within the firm, um, what we do, we have, uh, you know, brought in a different set of uh, concepts to engage with our candidate. One of them is called connect sessions where we you know get our all of our candidate on on board to talk to our our partners and create this forum where we address all the misconceptions and also a glimpse about uh, about how our work culture is right and uh, our leaders also spend a seasonable amount of time uh, staying connected with our uh, offered candidates during this time so that there is more uh, uh, you know, a meaningful engagement with them and they're able to kind of, you know, join with their feel more comfortable. That being said, all, all, you know, all of this definitely reduces the decline ratio, but uh, the inevitable last moment declines is still happening, but to a, to a lesser degree. Now, run-of-the-mill recruiting approach, getting the mandate and then going out of the market and searching is the foundation of it. So that's not going to go away. But the fundamental difference today is that it has to change. It has to be more aligned to what market sentiments are today. So what we believe or uh, you know, our team, they do primarily is they focus on uh, demand and doing a proactive targeted search for stuffing. So we reach out to our stakeholders, we talk to them and understand what are their target areas and then specifically work on market intel to kind of reach out to these talent and try and convert them. Our experience has been that a specific approach on hiring actually reduces the overall 
uh, turnaround time by around 30% of selected candidates. On the technology front, I'm very bullish about uh, AI. While AI has been in existence in talent for you know ages right now, but the complexity of AI and the kind of data we are training AI on right now and the ability that AI really brings in at this point in time, I strongly feel that the talent acquisition function may not necessarily be the way it is at this point in time in the next one or two years. I've always believed in creating a safe work environment for the team where everyone feels comfortable to share their views, build trust. While we do that, ensure that we have a very strong client connect, uh, bring a lot of value to the stakeholder, be proactive, show empathy to the stakeholder and as well as to our candidate. While we do that, we also try and ensure that we provide exceptional experience to our candidates and our stakeholders. All of that is then, you know, enveloped into a lot of data that we try and gather throughout the process, which also becomes like a foundation uh, of, of the way we work and become more effective. I've done technology recruiting for a fair bit of a time. So I understand technology to a great degree. And I think I, I've started my liking to some of the technology or the coding aspect. I'm sure I would have done something with it. I, I would have been a, a programmer at least, maybe. So talent function today, uh, you know, as, as you know, there is a stereotypical projection in the, in the media of, you know, how talent is today. Uh, you know, COVID has actually evolved the way we work. Uh, it is not just a function that does employee engagement, that does payroll, but it is seen as, as a function that is actually strategizing with business, contributing uh, to the business growth directly. So it is not just about knowing the concept, but you know how do you kind of you know, work with your business to actually grow them and continue to support them in a way where the business growth is also sustainable. I'm excited for the post-COVID world, actually. Uh, we've learned a lot more in the last two years than what we've learned in our entire experiences. Uh, I think every day is a challenge. There's something new that we are getting to do. Organizations are also very broad-minded at this point in time because they're looking forward to experiment, find new ways of recruiting, finding new ways of retaining. So the way uh, you know the future is looking right now with all those possibilities and plus the technology of uh, you know artificial intelligence and a lot of our work then you know kind of being made automated has a lot of potential on how meaningful we can be with our businesses and our functions Forbes India presents top 30 talent leaders of 2023 powered by Indeed